we're going to look at how automatic spacing works in Visio. Uh, you probably noticed that if you kind of add a shape and then use one of these blue triangles, you can kind of choose another shape to follow this shape. And what it does is quite nicely uh, always keeps consistent spacing between your shapes. So it all looks nicely distributed properly. Um, so this this kind of distance here is a setting within Visio. It's the default, but you can kind of change it. Um, if we had something that we kind of link together manually, so I've clicked on this connector tool, and then I'm just going to add shapes, but you know, I don't actually get the consistent spacing that I really should have done. Um, it's kind of a bit all over the place. Um, I can use various different methods to kind of solve that if I um, selected this and I went up on my home tab, I went to auto align the space, then it will take it back to the original setting. Likewise, if I've undone that and I go to design, I can go to relay out page and use one of these options here and you can see it goes back to all the default spacing that you um, that's set by the defaults. So how do I change those default spacings? Well, um, what I can do is I can go on my design tab in the layout group. I've got a little launcher here. Now I'm going to click on this. It takes me to the layout and routing um, tab. I click on the spacing button here and here is my space between shapes. So by default 15 millimeters horizontally, 15 meters vertically. So I'm going to whack these up to 35 millimeters. Click on OK. And now if I went back to relayout, you can see it's made quite a bit of difference. Okay. If I come out of that and I use my auto align the spacing, it would do the same. Likewise, if I now use these little triangles, it's going to use that default spacing that I've set uh, in that option. So nice feature of the spacing. The other way you can do it is if um, I add shapes, you'll see that you get this little spacer that comes up. So that spacer is now 35 millimeters rather than 15 millimeters. So they automatically come up. Um, should get one vertically as well. So that will follow the measurement you've just put in, whereas normally they'd be a, a lot shorter, those spaces. Obviously, um, if I decided to ignore those spaces and did something a lot shorter, the next one I'd go on, uh, put on would um, <coughs> create a space that was equal to the distance between the first two shapes. So you can kind of override them, uh, but the default can be set. So just as a reminder, all you do is you go to design, go to your layout group over here, click on the launcher, click on spacing, and that's where your settings are.